Okay, this is a tutorial about um, web hosting and getting a Joomla uh, website running on a live web host. So um, to do this, first of all, I've got um, this web page up here. This is my web host of choice, uh, penguinwebhosting.com. It's uh, http colon forward slash forward slash penguinwebhosting.com. And um, they are a great company. I use them for a lot of my sites, pretty much all of my sites that I do. Um, and I uh, called them up and I told them that I'm teaching this class and they were really supportive and really super helpful. So they've set up a special um, web hosting uh, plan for me to use for my class so that you guys can have some live, live web hosting space and you guys can practice having some live sites and also most importantly using the back-end tools, the administrative tools that go along with having a shared web host. Now I know some of you already maybe have a web host that you're using, but this would still be a good opportunity because you're going to be able to use a uh, Linux web host here and you'll get to play around with that and see if you like it. And you might find that you prefer a company like this. Now, when uh, I'm going to talk more about web hosting in some videos as we go along, but I want to get right to it and get started. So what I've got here is, um, let me go back here. So I'm opening up a, a fresh URL here. And I'm going to type in here dan dot dot net. Okay, um, dan dot dot net. The dancourses dot net is my main domain here, and the subdomain is dan. So it's dan dot dot net. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, I'm going to add forward slash cpanel which is uh, short for control panel and this is how you get to the um, administrative tool for your uh, web host so you put in your domain name right or in this case this subdomain and domain name dan.dancecourses.net forward slash cpanel and hit enter and it should prompt you for a username and password so in this case I've got my username okay and I'm gonna put in my password right and I'll click OK and it should log me in to um, cPanel and I'm going to open this up now this is my control panel for this my web hosting account and I'm gonna get each one of you will have your own web hosting account and I've got uh, username and passwords for you so that you can do this yourself so you're all going to get to try to do this and work with cPanel's control panel so the first thing you see is a welcome screen I'm gonna say uh, no I'm fine thanks I'm good. I don't need to see any wizards right now, but um, I like it to come up just in case I decide later that you know maybe I do want to watch the wizard and 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 see their tutorials on how to use it. So um, right here, this is the um, C panel control panel, and tells you your domain, tells you your home directory, tells you your um, last login from what IP address and bandwidth, and it's got all these tools that are built in here, right, that you'll have access to and that you can use to control your web host, right? And this is basically the tool that I use when I set up new um, websites and new domain names and all kinds of stuff. I use um, cPanel to do all of that, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to install a Joomla site to um, this web host. So the first thing I, I did was I went to um, Joomla, right? And I went to Joomla.org, right? And I clicked on Download Joomla, and it took me to this site, right? This page. And I clicked Download, and I downloaded the zipped file of the uh, latest version of Joomla, 1.5.15 here, full package. I downloaded it um, to my computer. And now what I want to do is I want to upload it using cPanel. So I'm going to click on, um, I'm going to scroll down here to my file manager, and I'm going to open up my file manager. And you have some choices here if you want to jump to different folders. And I'm just going to say web root public uh, HTML dub dub dub, and just go right to this, uh, the root for this um, domain. So I'll click go. All right. And it looks like this. Okay. So um, there it is. You can see it's an empty website. It doesn't even have a home page. Normally your home page is called index.html or index.php, what have you. And there's not even uh, a page there for that here. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload 
Joomla. So I'll click Upload, and I'll click No on that, and this is my Upload tool, and I'll browse for the file that I need. I've got it in a Joomla folder here, and there it is, and it automatically starts uploading, and it's going to take, you know, a couple minutes here, and I'll wait for that to happen. And while that's happening, I will click back here and, and talk about um, this tool. So you can upload uh, files right here. You can create folders here. You can delete files. You have to select them, of course. Uh, to go into a folder like this CGI bin, all I have to do is double click here and I can go in there, right? I can go up one level, that'll go back out. So um, home button, refresh all kinds of stuff. I can use this to extract a zipped file and that's what I'm going to do once this uploads is I'm going to extract it using this tool right here. Alright, and let's see how our uploads going. 34% complete so I need to keep talking. Um, let's talk about web hosts while we have a chance while we're waiting for this to upload. So um, at uh, Penguin Web Hosting uh, when you choose a web host you want to um, make sure of a few things. First of all, you want to have a choose a web host that's been around for a few years. Maybe five years, maybe seven, something like that. So somebody that's, you know, you don't want to set up a web hosting account, pay them, and then have them go out of business after six months. You know, you'll lose your money and you might not even have access to your site files anymore and it's, it can be a pain in the butt. So I would go and uh, choose a web host that's been around for a while. Now, all of the web hosts all claim that they've got 99.9% .9 uptime, right? That uh, basically your website will always be up and up and there'll never be any downtime. Well, you know, all of the um, web hosting uh, places say that, but very few deliver. Uh, my experience has been that Penguin Web Hosting does a great job. Um, my site is usually up most of the time. I mean, pretty much all the time. And a couple of times when they're doing... Um, when they're doing upgrades on their servers, they let me know. They tell me exactly how long the, the site will be down for, and it's usually not very long at all. Um, and like I said, I get I get advanced warning, and they've been really great. Um, uh, you know, if if uh, so, anyway, I'll recommend them. Also, another thing about the Penguin Web Hosting for my students. If you guys uh, go with them and you do um, one of these accounts, they will give you a student uh, discount rate if you um, give them my name and let them know that you're one of my students. So, so for my students, just um, that could be helpful. Um, all right, let's see if that sucker's downloaded yet. All right, 100% complete. Okay, I'm going to say uh, back to home and do you want to close the window? Yes, I want to close that window. Okay, so there's Joomla, and um, all I need to do now is extract it, so I'm going to select it, and I'm going to click Extract. And it asks me, where do I want to extract it to? I want to extract it to my public underscore HTML folder. That's what we're in right now, and I'll click Extract Files, and it will extract the entire Joomla site. Now, This will create a um, a website right in Dan dot um, dot uh, Dan's courses dot net. Now the other thing that I'm that I might have wanted to do was extract this whole Joomla site instead of just extracting it in my web host, it might have been better if I wanted to have multiple sites to create some folders and extract it in a folder. That way I could have multiple sites that I'm practicing with instead of just this one. So let me um, let me give you an example. So I, I could have made a folder called you know site one and then extracted it into um, site one and or I could have made a folder called site two and then in and then uploaded the Joomla file into that folder and then extracted it. And that way I could have multiple sites going on. And that's maybe what we want to do. So um, in the next video, I will, um, I'll talk about how to do that.